Okay, 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 okay. All right, let's review checklist. The color beanie crew? Check! Tom Allen? Check! Edward Scott? Check! Rebel Nelson? Check! Great! It looks like we're all set to go. All right, gang! Places, everybody! Ellie, you are on in 20 seconds! 20 seconds? Oh, we gotta go! Yeah! Oh, come on! Oh. Uh. Uh. This is gonna be fun! Oh, you said it! Oh, I'm so excited! Here's a kiss for good luck, Ellie! Mwah. Thanks, Bo! 15 seconds! Oh, I better up so we get prepared for the intro! And I better get prepared to do my, um, setup. I better prepare to do the intro after the preview. Ten seconds! Oh, oh, okay, it's just me. Yes, Allie, you really gotta do good. Okay, okay, five, four, three, two, one, and we're live! Hey, hey, hey! What's coming up next? It's Week Night Update with Ellie Mueller. Then the morning show starting Rebel Wilson and extremely early with Edward Scott. That's all still to come on Nick at Night. <laughs> well, I'm the court, you two dog, yo. Hey, my guys are easy, alright? This isn't a boxing ring. It's week up there, really new. And now, man, who is going to tell Mike Tyson to calm down? Oh boy, this is going to be a tough night. But we're going to get through it anyway because here is your host, Mr. Ellie Dougie Mueller. Ha! Welcome to Week Up Update. I'm Ellie Dougie Mueller, what's up, Chris Office? Mr. Tom Allen, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, boss, what's up? Nothing much. What's up with you? Nothing much. <laughs> All right. Are you ready to carry on with the rest of the show? Oh, yeah. All right, let's go. Uh, this week's content of the week question is, if you could have your own cartoon show, then what would the name of the show be, and who would be the show's character? Go over to the community tab post, and respond to that question as honestly, as thoughtfully, and as creatively as you can. All right? Now, the theme song was composed by Dominic Mathis Piano, the color being cool, the camera lady, and E around with the Dragon Ball Lover 2004 are responsible for most of the things you're going to be seeing here on this program tonight. And they also are watching our spotlight winners tonight. Along with Alex Case Tomb Zone, William, William Charles being a cartoon fan, Bob Corley, Visionet Media, Why Just Chris, Chris Ward 2, Guys Right Here Blank, Julian Villarreal, that's right, Julian Villarreal, and the Met Guy. You folks know what we gotta do, right? Alright, here we go. What's up? What is up? Uh, 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 what uh, uh, is up? Uh, uh, what uh, uh, is up? Uh, what is up? Uh, what is up? Uh, what uh, uh, is up? Uh, what uh, uh, is up? Uh, what uh, uh, is uh, uh, up? What is up? Bum, 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 bum. What's up with Mike Tyson? A man who will be in huge trouble very soon. No, it has nothing to do with Jake Paul. No, 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 no. On the contract. All right. My girlfriend Paul hates him. All right. Now, he said that he will get Jake Paul even though he's very scared. Okay. <laughs> Yikes. Alright, now, wait, he gave Jake an odd message recently, and this was the message, right? Patiently waiting for my friend. Yikes, this is not good, no, no, this is not good, I just... <laughs> Alright, MP, the pink cat, it's time for another top eight list, here we go. Does everybody know?
know what time it is? Is it time for something that involves a weeknight update? That's correct. It's time for our top eight. Yeah, top eight to know what the top eight things are. Yeah, it's going to be great. Oh, I'm so excited. I wonder what the top eight is going to be this time. Well, we're going to have to figure it out. Well, Ellie's going to figure it out. Yeah, Tom, it's absolutely so. Well, then, what are we waiting for? Take it away, Ellie! Yeehaw! You got it, boss. Nice category. Top eight reasons why Mike Tyson didn't want to go up against Jake Paul until fairly recently. Number eight, he initially retired when people didn't care about this show so much. Number seven, he called Jake Paul a clown. Number six, he was busy getting ready to jump on Larry David. Number five, he was insulted by everyone on In Living Color. Number four, he didn't want to waste his time. Number three, he would rather save the galaxy from Susan Cain. Number two, he didn't want to make his kids cry. And number one, he wanted to dance with an elephant instead. Well, that was awkward, you think? Thanks, boys. You know what to do? Hashtag week can update, hashtag go for late night, hashtag go for for dog swim, hashtag spread love on, and hashtag autism wolf. Get those things to try on social media, please. And draw a red, like the thing, subscribe, and grow, share with you, shout out the comment section down below. But whatever you do, please don't go anywhere. We're coming back with Edward Scott, special delivery, the most important visible to call, a moment for everyone, and the all important talk of time. <sighs> this is going to be a crazy show. But you know what? Uh, that would show this is, right? That's right. This is a little show that we like to call Week Up. Actually, this is a big show. Excuse me. Uh, this is still Week Up, a very big uh, show. And now, here it is. Your father night. Story time. No matter how fast he ran, he could not escape the demon. But he would not let his soul be taken today. <laughs> It's static free. Nick at night is the place to be. Hello out there on TV land. You know, some people still think that if you want new carpeting, you got to pile in the car and rush around from store to store. Well, you don't have to do that anymore. Not today. Today, all you have to do is pick up your phone and call us at Empire. We have the same brand you see in the stores. The difference is you stay right where you are, and in 72 hours, you got your new carpet. Best of all, Right now is our giant new warehouse sale. So leave the car in the garage, huh? Call us. 
for the stars. Come putting your best foot forward, entrepreneur. Sha la 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 la, we stream and new galaxies too small. That was perfect. And now, the Multiverse Disability Choir. Demi hen yu sai da ti ga la confusion Long live Kooky Bun Cooper and Sonic the Hedgehog Come to our lab, yo we can do an experiment Long live Kooky Bun Cooper and Sonic the Hedgehog We can do anything for our friends And me Charles and Jim are very happy with our adventures Since Scratch murdered Charles and Jim Long live Pookie Bunkooper and Sonic the Hedgehog Now we must protect Fiona since she has PTSD Long live Pookie Bunkooper and Sonic the Hedgehog Now that my niece have we fight for good And now Fiona has PTSD no more, yeah Long live Pookie Bunkooper and Sonic the Hedgehog Long live Pookie Bunkooper and Sonic the Hedgehog As your pocket sprung its loose Did your way to keep me before me? Well, we found it that just we sought it out for you We know what to do We are such clever chaps Now we so lost now Long live Kooky Bun Cooper and Sonic the Hedgehog He's a genius! That was you. Now, let's have a moment for everyone, shall we? Do you know what time it is? Well, gee, po, I don't know. What time is it? Well, Rebel Wilson, it's time for a moment for everyone. Huh, I wonder what Ellie has in store for the folks tonight. Gee, I don't know. We'll have to find out. Well then, Ellie, take it away. Yeah, Ellie. Love you. Mwah. Okay, so your relationships aren't working out, right? And you and your significant other are thinking about breaking up. Don't do it. Alright, I mean, if it's uh, based on cheating and things like that, yeah, you uh, can break up. But if it's over something that can be fake, like for example, you know, if it's based on someone's awkwardness or anything like that, then you and your significant other can overcome whatever, uh, you're having an issue. Alright? Now take me and Paul from the Color Bane Crew, for example. Alright? Take me and Paul from the Color Bane Crew, for example. You know what? Uh, Paul and I have been uh, dating now for about a year. And, you know what? Uh, she and I didn't always have uh, perfect dates. But, we still managed to get along. And we have never uh, broken up 
And when I say uh, broken up, I mean, you know, broken up to the extent of, you know, not dating each other anymore. All right. Now, we have come close to uh, that level, but we have never fully reached that level. All right. Currently, Paul and I are having uh, a tough time in our relationship because, you know, I have been uh, awkward, you know, uh, recently. You know, I don't know uh, how it happened, but, you know, I have been awkward during uh, my uh, recent date with Paul, and let's just say it left a bad take on both of our minds. Let me say this, all right? Paul and I are going to work out all of our issues. We're going to uh, solve everything, and we're going to do our best to keep our relationship alive. All right? Now, before we uh, continue, the camera lady, I am so sorry that you and Ole didn't work out so well as Excuse me, as a couple. All right, I thought that you two were hit it off and everything else, but what can you do? All right, let's have a little talking time. Let's see what's going on here. Hey, do you know what time it is? That's right, it's talkie time to know what he's going to talk about. So let's talk about it. You, baby. <laughs> hey, Adam. You gotta come here for this one. Yeah, we're talking about Mike Tyson tonight. Now, listen to this, folks. All right? Mike Tyson is afraid of Jake Paul. Did you hear about this, Adam? You know, yeah, remember last night we were talking about Jake Paul going up against Mike Tyson? Well, tonight we're talking about Mike Tyson, and he is very afraid of Jake Paul. He's very afraid. I forgot which guy did, did that. So I'm not going to say Mike, but this is the people do, right? They get really scared of their opponent, and that makes it very hard to dance. Which I heard that Mike does, right? He goes by. Fight day. Closer I get, beating up. Closer I get, her. Closer I get, her. And when in the ring goes, I said his quote all the way wrong, right? Like, this is the, the right way to say it right, left hand. I did it right hand, right? All mm -hmm. I feel all the way wrong, but you know what? what I'm saying. Go on. Yeah. Well, that's well, what you Great just water. said. <laughs> well, what you just said was exactly what uh, Mike uh, said. I always believed that adversity and nervousness pretty much catapulted me into success. If I didn't have these feelings, I wouldn't go into this fight. All right, perfect. So it was Mike. So look, guys, this is a really bad fucking song, right? Now, I know what, what you can write. Well, Mr. Papa beat me the 14th of Jameson Town. What you mean? Well, shut up. Let me, let me tell you, that hurt. All right, now, now look, right? Michael the Hill, right? I, 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 I. What is his name? Mike Tyson. Michael Tyson. All right. That's how he get, get down, all right? He feeds off of fear, right? He goes, Mm, that's good. And then he gets mad that that he's angry. And then when he like, like I said, he goes, "Oh, sorry, get to the ring." The more confident I get, and then he's also said that he has like an ego side. Like this is cool, Tyson. And then there's Tyson. So I'm telling y'all, once my hell Tyson, I just said they so long. Once he gets into that ring, and then you see him start going, ah, ah, it's going to be game. 
Not game over. Game. Yeah. Now, Mike Tyson uh, said that he saw Jake Paul you know, on YouTube not too long ago. When uh, Jake was just 16 doing weird dances. He said, that's not the guy I'm going to be fighting. This guy is going to come. He's going to try to hurt me, which I'm accustomed to. And he's going to be greatly mistaken. Yeah. This is, again, right? Mahael is like 57, 58. Yeah. Nine, you're 95. All right, it's crazy that he's even like allowed to have a professional fight. But this fight is going to be professional. I'm not sure who he signed up with, who signed the doctor paper for him to go into a professional fight. But hey, if he's like that, to get medically certified at the age of 58 to fight man for man professionally, hey, maybe Mahael ain't as bad as you think. But he's still 50 freaking eight, right? Yeah. If I hell, please calm down, all right? You can't be fighting these kids, bro. They're too bad, bro. Don't do it, bro. But I will say this, right? If you like the narrative of who's going, going to win, let me tell you something. What was Mahael known for back when he was a boxer? Oh, boy. He was known for a lot of things, including, you know, uh, KOing Peter McNeely and <laughs> oh boy he uh he bit uh, someone right <laughs> he was known for having the heaviest hand and it is a fact that your hands go out black it goes speed it goes chinny chin 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 and then it goes hang. Which means there's a 95% chance that Michael Tyson still punching as hard, all right? He still got the size 50 knuckles that he used to have. So this might be scary. Well, listen to this, all right? Mike Tyson uh, posted uh, some uh, boxing videos recently. And on Snapchat, not too long ago, right? He said... Patiently waiting for my prey. Yeah, see, that's the thing. There's, this, this is crazy, Mike, right? This is my Mahayev. When he says that, that's no bueno. <laughs> oh, boy. So uh, what do you think about uh, the whole thing? Do you think they'll end well for Mike or... Uh... There's two trains of thought. There's the logical one. There's the least logical one, right? Right. Logical is he's 58. Right. Come on, man. You, you can't box him. You can't get flabbergasted. You can't get flabbergasted. But on the unlike rational side, we have, hold up. This is Mahael Tyson. Power goes out loud. He's talking to me, and we all know. If there's one thing Mikhail Tyson got, it is intimidation, right? Right. Yeah, 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 right? So he got that intimidation. He probably still has the power. And he's talking crazy. And we all know when Mikhail talked crazy, you get a little bit scared. But you know he about bitten. So. All right. right. Thanks a lot, bro. Thanks a lot. Well, folks. Another episode of Week Now Update is indeed in the books. I got to thank you all for watching tonight. As usual, you have been amazing. And I hope that I will see you again tomorrow night. All right? That's the news. Namowski, throw all my boy. And cut! <laughs> That's a wrap! Great show, everybody! You all did a great job. Thanks, Ellie. Yeah, thanks. Until tomorrow's show, everybody. Okay. That was weird. Say it louder. That was weird. <laughs> weird. 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 Good TV that's static free. Nick at night is the place to be. Hello out there.